Today, Isaac Wilson and Corner Canyon played Sky Ridge in the Utah 6A state championship game at Rice Eccles Stadium in Salt Lake City. And this was a huge game between the two best teams in the state. There were D1 players all over the field for both teams, and it was a great game. Actually very similar to when these teams played in the regular season, which was a real defensive battle. Corner Canyon won during the regular season, but this time around, Sky Ridge had McKay Hillstead, their starting quarterback. Hillstead, who is a Utah State commit, missed a lot of the season with an ankle injury, and he did not play in the first game between these two teams earlier in the season. The game got off to an explosive start with both teams scoring on their first drives pretty easily. But after that, it was a real slugfest. Each team's defense took turns getting stops. And before halftime, Skyridge drove down and should have scored a touchdown, but McKay Hillstead missed throw to his wide open receiver, so they had to settle for a field goal. Corner Canyon got the ball back and drove down the field with less than two minutes left in the half, but they turned the ball over on downs. And to make things worse, their best receiver, Tate Care, hurt his shoulder and would not return. So Skyridge led 10 to seven at halftime. Once again, in the third quarter, the two defenses took turns getting stops. There were zero points scored in the third quarter. Then Skyridge went down and scored right at the beginning of the fourth quarter to make it 17 to seven with a touchdown pass by Hillstead with about 10 or so minutes left. Corner Canyon got the ball back several more times in the fourth quarter, but they just couldn't score. On their best drive, they got all the way down inside the five yard line with about three minutes left and a chance to cut into the 10 point deficit, but they went for it on fourth down and came up short. Corner Canyon head coach Eric Kerr is super aggressive and I can see why they would go for the touchdown there. But at the same time, I would have loved to see them just take the three points and then do an onside kick. They hadn't scored any points since the first drive of the game. So just getting those three points, I think would have helped their confidence. And even if you don't get the onside kick, your defense has been playing excellent this whole game. And I think they would have been in a better chance to win if they had kicked the field goal. But then after Corner Canyon turned the ball over on downs, Skyridge got the ball back and wasted as much time as they could before punting to Corner Canyon. But at that point, it was still a 10 point game. And when Corner Canyon got the ball, there was only 21 seconds left. So the Chargers tried to go down and score and get some consolation points, but ended up throwing an interception with one second left to seal it. So Corner Canyon had their chances to win this game, but they just couldn't score. I gotta give it to Skyridge. Their defense was incredible in this game. They've got two All-Americans in Tausili Akana and Smith Snowden, plus a lot of other talent that played really well on the defensive side of the ball for them. But to be honest, both defenses played well enough to win. I mean, there was only four scores in this game, two touchdowns and a field goal for Skyridge and one touchdown for Corner Canyon. The difference was that Skyridge's offense got it done when they needed to. Corner Canyon scored on the first drive of the game and then did not score the rest of the game. Smith Snowden, who plays corner for Skyridge, is one of the best prospects to come out of the state of Utah in a long, long time. He's so good that Corner Canyon decided not to even try throwing to his side for most of the game. I thought Isaac played about as well as he could have. He did his best to put the ball where his receivers could get it. He did a ton of damage with his legs, but the combination of Skyridge's stout defense and not having care their best receiver hurt them a lot. Wilson had over 100 yards rushing, but that was partly because their starting running back, or any of their running backs for that matter, couldn't really get going. Wilson had 74 rushing yards in the first half alone. I think Skyridge deserved the win, and I think they should be very proud of how they played both today and throughout this entire season. Hats off to them, and congratulations on the win. I also think Corner Canyon should be very proud of how they played and of their season. They have been the powerhouse in Utah for the last five years or more, and so everyone kind of expects them to win everything every year, but they had a young team this year with a lot of first-time starters. 
most of their best players will actually be back again next year. So I think they exceeded expectations and will be even better next year. Isaac Wilson in particular took a little bit of time this season to get used to playing at the varsity level. He struggled with interceptions through a lot of the first half of the season, but then he really started figuring things out at the end of the season and finished with very impressive stats. I think he will continue working in the offseason and come back next year ready to explode. He's currently a four-star recruit. I would not be surprised if he gets bumped up to a five-star by the time his high school career is all said and done. But thanks for tuning into this video. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.